most of us at some point have probably suffered from some type of impediment to our regular sleep pattern. But many individuals suffer from sleep disorders that make our petty grievances about not, in not getting enough rest seem trivial to say the least. Whatever the case, some of these individuals struggle immensely with their conditions, often finding themselves in bizarre, mind-boggling and often dangerous situations. Our first case is of a man on a camping trip in Kentucky who fell 60 feet when he sleepwalked from his hammock off the edge of a cliff. The man in question, called Michael Campbell, surprisingly survived the event and was rescued four hours later, surviving with just a broken leg and a dislocated shoulder. Number two is a from 2010 when a Colorado resident woke up in his hallway with a bullet wound in his knee. The man had been sleepwalking while carrying his handgun that he kept behind, behind his bed and was only woken by the sound of his firing discharging. As is usual with sleepwalkers, he had no recollection of the event. Our third story comes from a video that was posted online this year of a 12-year-old girl from New Zealand playing the piano while seemingly fast asleep. The girl had a history of sleepwalking and is musically inclined, which brings into question the topics of habit formation, muscle memory and consciousness. Number five is Klein-Levin syndrome, a rare and complex neurological disorder characterised by recurring periods of excessive amounts of sleep, sometimes referred to in the media as sleeping beauty syndrome. Sleep-deprived individuals might be envious of people who rest for days and ends, but those suffering from these ailments will know that it is extremely debilitating. Our fifth case is a British girl who went up six sizes due to sleep eating, a condition related to sleepwalking. During her years at university, she started to notice a significant gain in weight and couldn't understand why, until she woke up one morning covered in food wrappers and finally collected the dots. Whilst many people are familiar with a midnight snack, those with this condition have no re recollection of ever eating. Number six is about a British woman who suffers from a unique form of narcolepsy called cataplexy, a disorder that makes people fall asleep at random times throughout the day. In this case, however, this woman's spontaneous slum slumbers are triggered by laughter, fear or shock. This means that this individual finds themselves falling asleep up to 100 times a day. Our next story is about a Welsh man who is able to create stunning pieces of art while fast asleep. When he wakes up, he finds amazing drawings that he claims he has no memory of doing and is unable to create them while fully conscious. Finally, we have sleep texting, which sounds like a brilliant excuse for when you, need when you regret that risky message but it has been seen to be a real problem. Sleep specialist Dr David Cunnington of Melbourne Sleep Disorder Centre said patients had reported incidents of sleep texting and he has advised people to leave their mobile phones outside the bedroom. I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to subscribe to Psych2Go so you know next time they upload and also subscribe to my channel to be a genius for related content about the human brain and behaviour. This video is based off an article on the Psych2Go website which you can find linked below.